It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Greetings, NBA fans. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson, and seated beside me, Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. Tonight, it'll be the Chicago Bulls up against the Charlotte Hornets at Time Warner Cable Arena. So for the Hornets, their last game, a win against the Pacers. Six wins in their last 10 games. They'd like to play even better. Tonight, a chance to add to their win total. And guys, the fans always enjoy hearing stories from your playing days. Uh, let's talk teammates. Shaq, who were your favorite guys to play with over the years? You know, everyone loves the Shaq, and Shaq has four rings, but I'm, I'm saying it here. They all in love real the Shaq. Life, yeah, everybody loves Shaq. Okay. I'm, I'm sexy, handsome, and qualified. That's what Shaq's talking about. I think my question anyway, was, who were your favorite teammates? Let me finish, Ernie. Let me finish. I'm quick to say, hey, I got four rings, but I could, could You not, are quick to say that. Could not do without <laughs> Brian Shaw. Brian Shaw was a guy that always looked for me, similar with, with when how Kenny played with the team. He came down, made sure I got my shots off first. Derek Fisher, we all remember the .04 shot. Rick Fox was a hustler to go out and play. Big shot Bob. Oh, wow, saved one of my so favorites, many too. Times. So he, he's won both of our favorites. Big shot Bob saved me so many times. I would probably only have one without Big shot Bob. And Nick Van Axel, even though me and Nick didn't, didn't win together, we had a great time. Well, obviously, he said big shot. Hakeem. Sam Cassell, Robert Ory, Vernon Maxwell. But one of my favorite of all time, Chucky Brown. Oh, yeah. My favorite teammate is Chucky Brown of you all time. You didn't say Otis Thorpe? No, but he, Otis was cool. Oh, my but God. But Chucky Brown was my favorite teammate of all time, man. Guess who I would say my favorite teammates are? Who? Who's that? It's us? Oh, Ernie. Really? I thought you were going to say Thanks, another Ernie. guy who wasn't here. I'm getting choked up a little bit. Thanks for joining us. Need some tissue. At power forward, at seven foot zero inches, number forty, Cody Seller. Starting at point. At six foot three inches, number seven, Jeremy Lin. At four, six seven from Kentucky, number fourteen, Michael Ken Gilchrist. And at guard, six one from Utah, wearing number fifteen, Kemba Walker. Man in the middle, standing six ten from British High School, number twenty five. Live from Charlotte, North Carolina, 2K Sports proudly brings you the Hornets at the Time Warner Cable Arena. Last game for the Hornets, they picked up the W against the Pacers in Indiana. Their percentage from long range in that game was off the charts. It seemed like any time the fans got a little hostile, they just started to take it up a notch from beyond. The bombs were really falling, weren't they? I mean, great shooting, especially... <laughs> Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. And it's Walker penetrating. And it's all evened up. <laughs> wow, risky shot there size-wise, but the incredible skill that he possesses allows that one to go. Well, the quick high release negated any height disadvantage he had right there. Butler against Batum. Pass to Portis. Six on the shot clock. Shot from the top of the key. And that one's good. Temple's got his first two points. Charlotte has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Walker gets a screen from Chen. Shot's good by Jefferson. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, You've got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. They set the pick. Dishes to Temple. And Jones sends it back. 
They hold the early advantage on the glass. Yeah, nothing major, not a huge advantage, but certainly a good sign for them going forward. Walker the pass to Chen. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Captain Clutch has got his first bucket of the night. And he's been the catalyst all game long. Love how he's distributing the basketball. No doubt about it, Greg. I mean, when the offense runs through him, it's really smooth. Here's Butler. Smith with a wide open look. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. Exactly what they want right there. Continue to get good looks. For Charlotte, they've gone 7-12 from the field here in the first quarter. Right side to Walker. And it's Chicago with the rebound. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. And in that game, guys, their three-point shooting really was their own worst enemy. Even when they got the open looks, they just had an inability to knock them down. And, guys, you've seen it happen to every team. You have to be a threat from beyond the arc nowadays. And if your team goes cold, it really can sabotage your game. Kaminsky is checked in for Jefferson. Thirty-four seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Temple, covered by Chen. Temple dishes to Watson. Here's Smith. Kemba Walker comes up with the loose ball. The Hornets shooting well right out of the gates here at around 50%. And finished off by Kaminsky. Easy to see who's going to win that race. Yeah, early offense is often easy offense. Excellent work that time. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Sixteen seconds left in the first quarter. Butler up top, defended by Batum. Butler attacking. And again, Chicago, no good. And so, lots of scoring in that competitive first quarter. Hornets ahead, up by three. 2K Sports, back in a moment here at the Time Warner Cable Arena in Charlotte. Star Center Joe Keem Noah talked about the intensity of this Chicago Bulls team. I feel like we're the hungriest team in the NBA. That's a great feeling to be able to say that. Like whether we shoot the ball well or don't shoot the ball well, win or lose, we know that we're going out there every night, giving everything we got with no regrets. You know, I think Joe Keem can certainly make a case for Clark for Chicago being that famished five. There's no doubting that, Kevin. I mean, even the addition of Gasol with his two rings, the way he left things in L.A., that left him with an appetite that has him still hustling. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And let's quickly break down the game, guys. We've been watching from the Hornets. I just really like what we're seeing from a defensive standpoint, forcing a lot of turnovers with those quick hands. Yeah, those active hands, Greg, have produced a number of steals early. They've been very aggressive. MKG and Zeller at the forward duo. Jeremy Lin is out there with Captain Clutch. And it's Kaminsky in at the center, locking down the middle. So that's who Charlotte starts the second one. The nine-foot shot gets some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. Captain Clutch has got his second bucket tonight. Bulls trail by seven. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. And Brooks, here we go. Mirage hits the screen. Down to five on the shot clock. Brooks with the bucket. Effective screen set there for the jump shot. That was the key to the play. Here's Chen. 
Here's Lynn. Here's Zeller. And count it. Two points for the chance for one more at the free throw line. The tenacity on that interior. Just battling. Bringing that effort and will for second chance points. And the Hornets making a change here. Jefferson's checked in. The Hornets have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. That one misses for Zeller. Bulls trail by seven. The drive by Brooks. And it's Lynn with the rebound. Lynn's got his third rebound tonight. He dishes it to Zeller. Runner in the lane. The basket good off the assist from Lynn. And that's now 10 points for Cody Zeller. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Miritich, the screen. On the wing, Brooks, defended by Lynn. Miritich, it's rebounded by Jefferson. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. The shot's good from Chen. Really not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. I mean, they've just given them too many looks inside. Yeah, and usually when a team goes on a run like this, it's because they are getting too many opportunities on the inside. Make them beat you from deep. this break why don't we check out the hottest shooting point guards over the last month fourth Jeremy Lin some remarkable shooters in that group I mean you know that when you're seeing those types of numbers at the point guard position you're talking about some very intelligent and patient players in addition to being unbelievably gifted shooters I mean these guys have some of the smoothest sweetest strokes in the NBA which means they have some of the best strokes in the world Watson kicks to Brooks, and so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. And here's a look at some stats for Lynn. How's the last month of basketball been for him? Putting up about 10 points a night, five assists, and two rebounds. And this is the kind of strong, steady play you like to see. He's earning his keep and helping them win games. And guys, they're finally getting the consistency they wanted to see from him. Look for that to continue. Watson, the pass to Dunleavy. He feeds it to Miritich. Lynn against Brooks. And it's good. He planted his feet on the pick and shield the defender off. And really, the defense didn't do a lot to fight around that screen on that possession. Here's Captain Clutch. He's covered by Watson. And stolen by Miritich. Here's Dunleavy. That's good, and the assist goes to Watson. Dunleavy's got his first points of the game. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. At the elbow, Jefferson. Puts it up from 15, and he hits the jumper for two. Jefferson's got his second basket of the game. Playing smart offensively in the first half. No doubt about it. Yeah, the numbers support it. I mean, they're shooting the much better percentage from the field so far. Let's it go from 11. Can't get it to go. Some solid defense there from Lynn. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Brooks against Lynn. Noah kicks to Dunleavy. There's the pick. The dish to Brooks. The three, and the shot is good. Brooks has got seven. After going scoreless in the first, he's really found a way to turn it on here in the second quarter. All right, sir.
changes for Charlotte. Jones checked in for Zeller. Batum comes in for Michael Kidd Gilchrist. And Walker subbed in for Captain Clutch. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Smith checked in for Noah. Portis comes in for Miritich. Butler, he's checked in for Dunleavy. And Garrett Temple subbed in for Aaron Brooks. And Batum kicks to Jones. Outside, Walker. Soft touch off the glass. And the Hornets lead by 10. Eight of the last 10. And the first half is now in the books. Hornets lead by eight. Time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. All right. Hey guys, listen up. We've got a good lead, but lots of basketball left to play. Obviously, we've shot the lights out, and that's not been by accident. You guys have done a heck of a job finding good looks every time down. Keep working hard to get those high percentage shots. I did, however, like our on the ball defense. We didn't give their ball handlers any breathing room and they didn't handle it well. We came up with some good steals. And let's try to play the second half at a moderate pace. Not too slow, but not too fast that it turns into a shootout. That's not what we want. There's no reason the lead shouldn't be even bigger right now. And I'm counting on you guys to make sure that it gets bigger and soon. All right, Charlotte, now we're in the court. And the third quarter about ready to get underway. Wow, this game just a commanding performance for Zeller. He's got 10 points, and he's added a steal to his stat line also. You know what? The number is not huge, but he has been doing some valuable defensive work for them. Hornets leading by eight. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. So the Bulls five right now. Butler teams with Dunleavy on the perimeter. Heritage is out there with Noah, and it's Brooks in at the one. Lock at six. Zeller, a screen on Miritich. Here's Kid Gilchrist. Shot is off. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Captain Clutch, he's checked in for the Hornets. Brooks against Walker. They set the pick. Outside, Kid Gilchrist. Great defense that time from Noah. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Chicago shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. And that's a little better than they did last year from the free throw line. Spencer Hawes has checked in for Zilla.
Good on the second free throw. Hornets leading by seven. Outside, Kid Gilchrist. Kicks it to Hawks. Six to shoot. Here's Jefferson, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. Brooks kicks to Buck. Pulls up on the wing. Here's Miritich. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got three assists now in this one. Charlotte has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. 18 feet out. That's good on the jump shot. Eight points for Freak. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. Bulls trail by nine. Brooks outside. The pass to Miritich. Out of bounds. Charlotte takes possession. Let's take this moment to bring you a leaderboard featuring a very well-rounded group. The top rebounding small forwards in the NBA the last 10 games. Fifth best, Michael Kidd Gilchrist. You know, the work they do on the boards is such a big part of all these players' game. I mean, they play much bigger than the grand majority of small forwards in our league. Yeah, I think they all have that little bit of extra edge to their game that allows them to put up the kind of rebound numbers usually you only see from power forwards. And the Hornets making a change here. But Toombs checked in. There's the pick. And Kid Gilchrist kicks to Hawes. He got right to the cup using that screen. Hawes got the lead up to 11 now for the Hornets. The Bulls have gone 4 of 7 to get things started here in the second half. Smith dishes to Miritich. Back to Smith. A steal. Unhindered going all the way. Here's Chen, throws down the breakaway jam. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And, Greg, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. That indicates the importance of great on-the-ball defense, as was displayed right there. Brooks, the pass to Miritich. Smith against Batum. Brooks outside. Down low. And Noah with the slam. Now that was pretty. That was just a nice looking reverse jam right there. Use the rim, Clark, to protect the ball, I think, too, a little bit. Yeah, it did a nice job with it. Hey, guys, how about the awareness there with that Who's finish in traffic? Kept alive. And Batum kicks to Kid Gilchrist. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. And Brooks, here we go. To the middle, here's Noah. And it's good, assisting on the play was Brooks. Brooks has got six assists here tonight. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Some changes. Kaminsky, he's checked in for Hawes. Terrence Jones comes in for Michael Kidd Gilchrist. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Captain Clutch. Chicago also making some changes. Portis, he's checked in for Noah. Temple comes in for Miritich. And it's Watson in for Brooks. There's a good screen. Here's Lin. Dishes it to Kaminsky. Makes it off the glass. Kaminsky's got his second bucket of the night. Three consecutive. Some changes for Chicago. Dunleavy comes in for Garrett Temple. And it's Brooks in for C.J. Watson. Chen in at point guard. Spencer Hawes out there with Hairston. Then it's Kaminsky, so that's the Hornets' five. Screen by Smith. Outside Butler. To the left side wing. Dunleavy for three. Hornets with the rebound. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. And so the Hornets can now just hold on to the ball. Pass to Hawes. Here's Captain Clutch. The 15-footer. Jump shot is good. And it's a 12-point Hornets lead. 
that one will seal the deal there. They've exploded here at the end. Boy, I love the serious killer instinct they've shown. Finishing strong. And so it's the Hornets taking care of business in this one. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. Well, you know, it makes a big difference. I mean, you never felt like they had any doubt they'd come what out on play, top. Boy. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. Hey. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan along with our entire 2K sports crew thanking you for tuning in. Now time to head over to the studio where the award-winning Ernie Johnson is with Shaq and Kenny all standing by. Guys, take it away. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Welcome back, Ernie Johnson, along with Shaq and Kenny the Jet. Let's quickly move forward now to the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Al Jefferson. He was the engine that drove this team the whole night, and his teammates had no problem harnessing the power of that motor. Well, we know Al Jefferson, a.k.a. Baby Fundamentals, can be a nightmare to deal with on the low block. He proved that again tonight. And as a pick-and-roll partner, he's about the best there is. He's nearly impossible to handle when he's on his game. He put in some serious work on the glass, stayed aggressive, put that extra effort in, and chased down those long rebounds. Rebounding is so important for limiting those second-chance points. He made a big impact tonight. And, folks, that'll wrap it up for tonight. We hope you enjoyed the game. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. Have a good evening.